Hi, I'm Pamela Taramsi Lee, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here today with another Art in Action. Today I'm honored to be on the Suquamish land and we'll be creating passports. Sometimes it feels like we don't belong to this moment or to this place. Maybe we come from a different world where other languages are spoken. Maybe there's no language at all. Maybe music transmits all that needs to be communicated. Or silence, it can transmit many meanings. As the daughter of an immigrant, I have always been fascinated by passports and by the courageous ones who dare to go to new places and create meaning. The Passport Photo by Naomi Shiab Nye. The passport office welcomes photographs which depict the applicant as relaxed and smiling passport application. Before they shoot, I think of where I'm going. Chile, the world's thinnest country, their bright woven hats on the Indians of Peru. I swallow the map of South America tacked to my kitchen door. The swarm of strange names, blue rivers like veins in an old woman's leg. A continent I know little about, except what I have read or my Bolivian neighbor's tales. A school of thieves, she tells me. I'd stay home if I were you. Trapped in front of the hot lights, I try to forget distances. How far I will be from the ones who love me longest. I do not think of anything familiar or cozy. I think coastlines, jagged edges, roads ahead of me, cracking open like coconuts. And then I smile because this face you are snapping is a map to another continent I have barely begun to learn. Here's a game if you want to play it with a friend or your family. It's a poem fragment called Duration Four by the Mexican poet Octavio Paz, who lived from 1914 to 1998. I play this with my students and it's hard to do at first, but then you really get going if you let go and have some fun. I will speak to you in stone language. Answer with a green syllable. I will speak to you in snow language. Answer with a fan of bees. I will speak to you in water language. Answer with a canoe of lightning. I will speak to you in blood language. Answer with a tower of birds. So what I love about art is that you can begin with a concept and just not follow it if that's the way it goes. So the original concept was to follow a line in the poem in Naomi Shihab Nye's poem about this woman's leg with the rivers running through it. And I thought, wow, that would be cool. What if you had a woman's leg with, with, with a real river flowing through it? you know, or the pictures of a river there that you would paint, or I always thought I came from the sea when I was a little girl, and I would paint myself underwater as my um, place de natation, where I'm born. But of course, as I'm working, it didn't come out that way at all. So uh, I did do a black Sharpie picture, which is part of the instructions I had given myself, and it says, I come from many places and dreams and I realized I didn't just come from one place I came from every place I visited just like Naomi she had nice said in her poem the first part I come from the love nestle land so both as a child myself and with my own children I love snuggling it just seems like its own world and then when I was younger I used to dream of horses and I actually got to see Chincoteague. So this is Chincoteague. It's a it's an island of wild horses in Virginia. A national wildlife ref refuge. Then I had to sit through so many boring classical music concerts of my mother's, which I now have come to love. And all the wonderful composers I got to hear, even if I didn't appreciate it fully at the time but they are part of me and my love of classical music is all from her. Then I went to Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. I was trying to find brains, but instead I found a Nobel Peace Prize winner, Dr. Hamburger, Victor Hamburger, and I gardened for him and that was fun. I 
had a dog and a friend who to dance with. And I call this the land of Tess, Luce, and C.P. Wilson. Next comes the sea of who? Who should I be dating? What should I be doing? Where should I be going? So many questions. And then I chose. And this is called the realm of choice. And the little squirrel is my husband. Then comes the realms of cancer. So I had cancer for 10 years. And this is actually um, a photograph of a cancer cell. And the climb, how to get well. And finally, you make it to the cat croons of heaven. And we had two wonderful little cats. And there's something about the way cats just completely flop in your arms and allow you to love them. That is just magical. So that's my passport. What's yours like? Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.